Hello everybody! We are at part or episode three, part two. Uh, I forgot to get the bolts off screen, let me get them real quick. Uh showing you guys how to get bolts doesn't hurt. As much of a waste of the time as it is. Crap, that shortcut didn't work. Okay, um a lot of people I can tell are gonna say, Oh shit, I'm stuck in here, I'm gonna have to die to get it out. No, you're not. Look at this. Awkward taxi, right where you need it. Ain't that great. I'm gonna speed up this taxi scene, because it's a waste of my time to sit here and watch this, you know. Okay, there's a second section to this level, of course. There's always a second section. Always right when you don't want it. So, what we're gonna do here, uh, well, cutscene plays first, so I'm gonna let you guys watch that. Welcome to the Captain Quirk Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck! Quirk Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. Okay, we have Shadow Toast here now. If you talk to him, he'll just play this whole cutscene all over again, so... If you didn't pay attention, uh, you want to see what it said. Great. Well, just, well, actually, he just kind of covers what uh, happened. He doesn't really tell you what to do. Hello. You scare me a lot. Just sit down, buddy. Okay. Uh, what's this? More boxes. No, wait, I gotta figure out where it is. Uh. Crap, they outsmarted me in their programming. Um, you guys have no clue what I just meant by that, so. Shout out to Stop. Please. Thank you. I'm gonna be ending up doing Iridia as well, ain't I? I would yes. suck. Uh, two levels in one episode. How's that sound for you guys? Well, they're probably all, they're probably just sitting there in their teeth laughing their heads off because I'm gonna be sitting here doing two episodes, two levels. Okay, what you gotta do is you gotta jump down there. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Here I go. Watch this. Yep, I'm jumping down there. You can see the box. This is proof it's an enterable area. Uh, while we're going down here, is look at that. An article bull. Sit down. Who is? Secret area. And I'm gonna need to cut ahead, guys, because uh, this taxi will take you back to the very beginning of the level. So yeah, we're gonna have to cut back to where we left off. Okay. They stink. Two second life. Oh! Not gonna be there. Okay. So what we're doing here? Listen up, you lard balls! That was the most pathetic display I have ever seen on that obstacle course. What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh yeah, but it was weak, weak, weak. When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast! <laughs> Bet that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day! But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark! Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. 
Und worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot, so you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad. Life's not fair. Sweet. I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Ha! Real men can swing without silly toys like that. The two of you make me sick. Cool, the slingshot. Hey, not slingshot, slingshot, get it? That was an awful joke. Yes, it was. At the bottom of the screen is the definition of how it works. Even though I'm showing it off right now, kinda. Interesting. I, I like I like the little box in the bottom. Makes you not have to explain everything. Ooh. As simple as that is, though. Uh, hey. Okay, the next level, there's not much we're going to get in the next level. Probably get one item, and a waste of time for the rest of it also. Yeah, pretty much the rest is a waste of our time, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, we're going to get two items, and then we're going to waste our time. Because it's so easy to get past the part we're wasting our time in. Well, actually, you know what, we're not going to do this level. We're just going to stop here when we get there. We got to end this episode of Kurwan. Karwan. It's like a Japanese place. No offense, it just, it just does. And it's strange how this planet strangely resembles Mars. But when you land on it. They said this is a desert planet. Anyone see any desert like properties here? Because I sure don't. What planet is that? That's, that's, this was two pretty close planets. Look at that, that's kind of scary. Well, I know that top one there is Blackwater City, I laid it along a little bit. What's that? Wait a minute, is that Earth? I'm wasting so much time here. I just don't want to start this level yet, so I don't want to waste time looking around. Okay, uh, right here's our vendor. No new weapons, but... We need some ammo, I guess you can buy some. <sighs> that's it, that's all there is. Thanks for watching, guys.